Welcome to BergKnifeMaking.com. Today we're going to take a look at making a combination dust and spark collection system for a 2x72 belt grinder. Now my shop is not as clean as it could be. I, I'm definitely in need of a good dust collection system um, and for grinding knives I really wanted to incorporate also a, a spark collection system. So what I came up with was a dust collector that allows sparks to drop straight through into a five gallon bucket of water um, and then with uh, closing of a blast gate I can turn on a wet dry vac and suck dust from uh, grinding wood or sanding wood and micarta uh, right into a wet dry vac. So these are the hot sparks dropping straight through the system into a bucket of water. This system uh, fairly easy to make. Um, it starts with a four inch uh, dust collecting hood. You can find that on Amazon. I've got a, a piece of four inch PVC that connects to a, a four inch to two inch reducer. Those are both uh, dust collecting system components. Then I went to a two inch PVC Y connection. One part of that is connected to a flexible hose that goes to my wet dry vac. And the other side goes to an aluminum blast gate this is basically just a door that opens and closes. So when it's in the open position, sparks are going to fall straight through into the bucket. And when it's in the closed position and I turn on the wet dry vac, dust will get sucked right out through that corrugated hose. This is another look at the blast gate. Closed, but when I'm using the wet dry vac and sucking uh, dust from for mica and wood, I added a tapped screw onto the side table of my 2x72 just to store this thing. This is a, a piece of 2 inch by uh, 1 8 aluminum that I had laying around. I cut a notch or a groove in the top and just bolted it right onto the side of that dust hood. I'm going to show you how it connects in a minute. So I had to drill and tap a quarter 20 uh, tapped hole right on the tooling arm that secures my flat platen to the 2x72 grinder. I found this T-nut at Lowe's and that aluminum slot just slides right onto that uh, knob and drops into place and then you can tighten it wherever you want it. The neat thing about this design is I bent the aluminum so that it allows me to change tooling arms, the additional tooling arm, without having to adjust the dust collection system. So in this case I added my uh, 90 degree work table. I'm going to give you another view of how that aluminum is bent. It allows that second tooling arm to just slide right through. I'm trying to make something here that will work with the majority of the attachments that I have, that comes on and off easy, that stores easy, etc. So profiling um, a knife blank all of those hot sparks are going to go uh, behind this 90 degree table right into that dust collecting system or spark collecting system straight through into the bucket. I take it off, I just loosen that T-knob and I can store it right on the side of my work table. Now, I was also able to adapt it to work with the tilt table bevel grinding jig that uh, Jason Northgard and I uh, designed. In this case, I had to drill and tap another hole. Uh, this time it's on uh, the arm that holds the uh, flat platen. It's still not very difficult at all. I added an additional T-nut, quarter 20, and that allows that uh, dust collecting hood to be positioned nicely directly under the tilt table so that sparks, most sparks from when you're using a tilt table double grinding jig are going to fall behind the table anyway. But in this case they're going to fall and the majority of them go right into that dust collecting hood. Now the plan here is to use this for a, a month or so, maybe a couple weeks or to a month, figure out what I like, what I don't like and then head over to my friend Jason Northgard's metal shop and, and recreate it in uh, sheet metal. And this way I have no chance of, of sparks causing fire or melting the plastic, etc. 
Uh, so this is just a prototype. Although, having used it for a day or two, it, it's really holding up a little bit better than I thought it was. Let's take a look at, at the dust collection part. So I'm going to close the blast gate. This is an aluminum blast gate. They cost between $14 and $20. You can find them on Amazon. Just search for dust collection system blast gate, aluminum blast gate. When grinding wood for uh, knife handles or micarta or fiberglass, the majority of that dust really does get sucked right into this dust collection system. The wet dry vac had enough enough pull to work really, really well. Now I can improve that in the future, but for now this is going to be a, a great improvement to what I had, which was basically nothing. So here's just a different view. You can see the aluminum arm that attaches uh, the dust hood uh, to the 2x72. You can see that you can um, move additional tooling arms in and out with ease. You can use this with the tilt table. Uh, my particular grinder is an Origin Blade Maker uh, 2x72, but I'm sure that this can be configured to most uh, 2x72 grinders, or a system like this could be configured to most grinders. Um, anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, I ask that you please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this YouTube channel. If you've got any comments or recommendations before I finalize the design, by all means, leave them in the comment section below. Um, in addition, I'd like to give you an invite to our Facebook group, Knives and Knife Making. Um, ask you to post some pictures of your own uh, knife making builds. And please check out the book, the how-to book that Jason Northgarden and I did last year called Introduction to Knife Making, and that you can find on BergKnifeMaking.com or Amazon.com. Thank you very much.